Alright, so I was having problems with the G5 except in an optical output. Well, actually, the problem I was having is this Denon in command receiver, Denon, depending on. So I've got this Yamaha, which I really do like. Uh, the only problem with it is I don't have a remote for it. I didn't get a remote with it when I got it at a thrift store. But um, I do have the code for my Galaxy S4 to make it work. So I'm going to plug the plug it into here. And yeah, I'm not exactly using a cheap wire either. So let's see what happens. We're going to turn this on. This is set to accept a digital input. And now the sound's coming from the front of the... Sorry, I do have a uh, cat that wants to visit. Um, got this coming up. Uh, so I make sure I have every... Is the input mode you have analog, auto? So I'm gonna try auto for right now because it has DTS. I don't know if that's or was set up for DTS. I don't know if that's it or not. Before I tear everything apart here, I want to make sure this works. And uh, if I come up here. see TV shows uh, one of my favorite shows here let's try this bring up my favorite episode actually oh, that ain't it. that's not my favorite episode but oh well shoot Up in VLC. Okay, that's weird. It's coming out of that. Oops, I actually hooked my center channel up to the right channel. Come on, settle. Sooner you're settled, sooner this is over with. Thank you. Now, you're going to meet some men today who've taken a wrong turn in there. Alright, let's see if I can uh, figure out how to get it to only uh, produce on the optical side. Yes, I was better off sitting down here. I don't really have a good setup here for the keyboard and mouse output. Okay, internal speakers down. So now I'm going to tell you their stories and hopefully okay. make you think So um, this is what I was not able to do with my Denon in command uh, AVR2112CI. However, with the little bit older Yamaha Natural Sound AV receiver, H2R, let's see if I can get this to 5450, happens to work just fine. So, Figured I would let you guys know that. So it was a problem with the receiver and not the pro problem with the G5. Um, glad somebody mentioned that it was a handshake issue, so that was easy enough to settle. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys very much. Bye.